we've got a laptop that belongs to a coworker that doesn't like to fix shit, but found out that I do. It's a really bad design. I'll show you when I open it up, but this piece of plastic is cracked and the hinge is kind of contingent on the tension force of this piece of plastic. So uh, when they're trying to close it, it's cracking and I think it's going to crack all the way through and at one point they're not going to be able to they're not going to be able to close it or open it. Don't buy consumer laptops. Go on eBay, buy business class laptops. They're the only laptops worth fucking looking at because they're rugged, they're dependable and you know you find, a, you find a good one you can make a Hackintosh out of, which is what I did. And I'll probably make a video about that later. I've, I've been talking about that for a while. But, um, yeah, don't buy MacBooks. They're, they're kind of expensive for no reason because the hardware that's in it is not actually worth the... Whatever, I'll get into that later. Here's a better view of the problem. So, on the inside, this is the metal backing of the laptop. On the inside, uh, there's a piece of plastic, like on this other side, holds this uh, hinge, this metal hinge, to the metal here. Really bad design, really horrible design. You can see that it clearly broke off. And not only did it break off of the plastic, the internal plastic, but it also broke the, uh, the front bezel plastic. So this, this would have been an easy fix if we'd have gone online to eBay, because the part exists, but the part actually includes the entire panel. So it's like a hundred something bucks for the whole fucking thing. But really the only broken part is the plastic. I might have to drill out that way and then through this hole in here and basically make my own bracket. So this hole's already made because this hole is in the, in the bevel itself. I could probably use this dots uh, name tag, but to drill holes and then this will be kind of unsightly. I mean, it, whatever I put in there is going to be fucking unsightly. It doesn't matter what I put in there. Horrible. This is a horrible design. Why would you why would you line that with plastic, you piece of shit? That's the one thing. Okay, if you're gonna get a Mac, fine, get a Mac. It is pretty durable. But just know that you are overpaying for that fucking durability. Cause the hardware inside of it's not really that fucking great. There's nothing magic about it. It the OS is great. Don't get me wrong, the OS is fucking awesome. Whatever. Get a business class laptop, make a hackintosh. If you don't have time for that, then get a Mac. Fucking whatever. But get it used. Don't buy new. Don't buy from Apple. Apple's a fucking piece of shit. Never get Apple. And I'm going to just drill right down the middle and through the backing. All right. So I think the other one's going to be like around here. But what I'm worried about is that there's like touch capacitors or something over here. So I might attempt to take this off or at least look at a video where someone someone else took this off to see if there's any like anything underneath there because from what i can tell well let me just open it up it would seem that there's nothing through there that seems like the molded plastic that's just holding the holding the panel so what i'm talking about is right there so i'm going to drill a hole through that yeah because that's what lines up with that See that little thing right there? I think that's what lines up with. How can I tell? I guess there's no real easy way of telling. I can theoretically drill right through that. Right, just clean through that. And then the reinforcement might have to happen on both sides. It might have to happen on the front and the back. Because this fucking piece of shit. Look at this. I don't know if I I don't even know if I have the bolts for this shit. I do risk fucking it up more, but if the touch doesn't work, it still works as a laptop, so keep that in mind. So that'll be fine. Hopefully, the, the, I'm not going to damage the panel because the panel itself is over here and the circuitry is over here. I don't see any circuitry here, but just in or out. That's in. I can never do this. You, you ever, like, hold your drill in, in your non-dominant hand and then, like, this whole concept of in and out just goes out the window? Like, you don't know which way is in and out but only in your left hand on my right hand i could do it day and night i don't have to think about it just boom boom but in my left hand i just fucking forget what's left and right okay i'm gonna drill through hopefully cleanly nope does not want to go all right, I'll be back. 
Okay, fuck. I cracked it. So, that's not good. Hopefully that'll still work. But fuck. That sucks. Um... Well, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to instead reinforce just the fuck, just the inside and this part right here, but through the back. So all that plus mold here on fucking flea market fixes shit, kind of, but not really. Basically, flea market breaks more shit than he fixes. This thing blows. Here's the dots tags that I cut and shaved and smoothed out all, all in place with holes. Let's take this, we're gonna flip it over to this side. Stick this on this end, right? And you know, it looks like shit, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. As long as it works, it's fine. What do you give a shit? I'm gonna put this bolt, oh, I need a washer. Let's get a washer. This nut, it's kind of it's kind of big, but it'll do. So we're gonna screw that in place with some shit. Maybe I should cut this. Should I cut this? Leave it in the comments. Should I cut this? It, it already happened, but should I cut it? It closes. <laughs> okay, so just for aesthetic purposes, I am gonna. I'm gonna mark this and basically shave that part off and then mark this and cut that and maybe put like a little rubber stopper on there or something. Any Anything that works. Ignore this hole, I made this a while ago. Straighten that. Yeah, that's about right. And then I'll just copy that template on the other one. We'll smooth that out a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Uh, and I could cut this, but I'm not going to. Yeah. This sucks. This fucking computer sucks. It just blows. It's not good. It's it's old. I mean, it's got a... Well, it's not that old. It's got an 840M. That's not bad for an NVIDIA portable graphics. So I can see why they want to use it. So we're just going to cut along that line nice and this I can smooth out Oh, and then I'm gonna make the template this is what I don't remember which side because it was going I'll leave this one alone I'm just gonna do this one I'm gonna smooth this one out using my drill and hopefully it'll be smooth enough to then just use Mm, it's still kind of rough. Good enough, though. For this purpose, it's fine. So we've got the screw in place. It's not as tight as it can go, but I don't want to re-damage this thing. But I'm going to mark it and cut it. And then uh, I might even cut it a little bit below the line just so I can have it right flush with this and then fill it with some shit and call it a day. So now we mark it. I'm going to snip this off, I'm going to maybe even shave it down, and uh, be done with this fucking thing, hopefully. I can't find the marking I made. That's right about there. And the force on this thing is amazing. He's got to really fucking, really fucking do it. Okay, this is really, really hard. So, I'm going to take it over there on my vise and uh, beat it a little bit. I'll be back. All right, so now, now we can close it. Yeah. Oh my God, did I cut it too short? Oh my God, please. Oh my God. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. We got plenty of space. We got plenty of space. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Take this motherfucker. Now we press these two down. We got it. So if we flatten it 
and then force it down all the way. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Huh? We got ourselves up. Well, let me close this shit. And then the screw, I got the screw for this side upstairs. I'll put it there. And then we got ourselves a laptop. Look at that. Opens, closes. Stop unfocusing, you cunt. There we go. So lesson learned. Do not buy consumer brand laptops. Go on eBay. Buy a business class brand laptop. Make a hackintosh out of it if you like OS X. If you don't, fucking get to like OS X. It's pretty fucking sweet. Also, don't buy this kind of shit where it's touchscreen because it sucks. And fuck you, don't buy it. It's stupid. It, you're dumb. Type here and fucking, and then use the mouse pad, but don't fucking, don't fucking do that. This is stupid. Touching all this. Look at how fucking dirty it is. And now it's cracked, so I hope it doesn't work. Fuck you. Choo! Look at that. I sneezed on the fucking thing. Hope you have a good time with this piece of shit.